everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all I am finally going to be reviewing the new surprise release of the addition to I guess this year's version of the bake shop collection which we're just gonna call the pound cake collection so I have sweet petal pound cake and ice lemon pound cake. They're online exclusives from Bath and Body Works. My order arrived a few days ago. I've been playing with these and so I'm ready to talk about them with you. The first one we're going to talk about is the one that I was the most excited about and that is sweet petal pound cake. So I love the packaging of these. I know some people, they don't like them, but I think it's simple and cute. So I think it's pretty and girly. So the notes for Sweet Petal Pound Cake are Candied Rose, Raspberry Swirl, and Frosted Bunt Cake. To me, at first it took me a minute. When I first smelled this in my haul video, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above, check it out. I was like, does it smell like what I was hoping it smelled like, which would be the pink petal tea cake candle. And I feel like it did. So I pulled out my last, well, I think we have two more of my pink petal tea cake candle. And the notes for this candle are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. Now, to me, Sweet Petal Pound Cake does smell similar to Pink Petal Tea Cake. Pink Petal Tea Cake has more of a sweetness to it, more vanilla in it to me, but they are similar. I wouldn't say it's exactly Sweet Petal, I wouldn't say Sweet Petal Pound Cake is Pink Petal Tea Cake, but they're very similar. And so I was, I keep smelling it, and what I really pick up in this fragrance is the candied rose. I personally, in the mist, I don't get cake vibes. I might get more of, think of a very light froth, not even frosting, you know those, like a glaze, on a pound cake, the kind you drizzle, that's very light, very thin. I might get like a fruity, like tart raspberry glazed light icing scent. But this is not what I would consider gourmand at all. I wouldn't consider it pound cake. To me, this is a it's a floral, somewhat fruity, somewhat sweet rose fragrance mist. Now, another fragrance that this was compared to was Whipped Rose Latte, or if you just got the one from last year, it's Rip, Whipped Rose Vanilla. Now, this has notes of crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. And people were saying that these were practically a dupe. So I said, well, let me try it out. And I disagree. You pick up the rose in each of them, but they don't smell alike to me. Because which rose latte has that creamy, cocoa, velvety type of fragrance to it. And this sweet petal pound cake is... A little tart, candy, floral, fruity, a little icing type of scent. And glaze type of scent. I don't want to say icing because when I think of icing, I think of whipped, creamy, thick. And this on the sweet side is what I would call runny drizzle. that Like a glaze. That's what I would call this one. Am I disappointed with it? I wouldn't say I'm disappointed because it's pretty to me. It's pretty. Um, if you were thinking this was going to be 
let what started the whole pound cake range which is strawberry pound cake yeah strawberry pound cake comes in this collection too but i have not purchased the one in this packaging this is the first one it's nothing like sweet petal pound cake is nothing like strawberry pound cake when you smell strawberry pound cake you think edible gourmand food strawberries cream cake you think of that when you smell strawberry pound cake when i smell sweet petal pound cake i don't think of a cake at all i don't i think pretty rose a little fruity like i said glaze airy sweet delicate floral fruity semi-sweet scent that's what i think of i do not think gourmand at all i don't and the more you smell this i get why people say it's similar to whipped rose latte because it has the same rose note that i'm picking up but again to me they are not dupes but i will say if you have whipped rose latte or whipped rose vanilla which they're the same thing if you don't love this you probably won't like sweet petal pound cake if you like whipped rose latte it's a good chance you would enjoy sweet petal pound cake now sweet petal pound cake like i said at the beginning is an online exclusive you can't go in store and smell these for yourself you have to take a chance or read reviews listen to your favorite you know reviewers on social media and then make your decision because you can't go in store and just smell these do i regret purchasing it no because it's very pretty is it what it is advertised to be i would say no i would say no um i i, I pick up no cake none I don't, I don't, I don't. And I haven't heard one person who smell this say they smell cake. The people I've watched, I haven't watched all the reviews, but the people I've watched, they, they haven't said they smell cake. I don't get cake. When I smell pink petal tea cake, the candle, when it burns, this is what I would call a floral kind of gourmand because you smell the florals it, but it's very pretty but you do smell a little bit of that fluffy cake vanilla type of scent from the candle and i don't get as much of that what i would like that vanilla the sweetness that's in this candle i don't get as much of that in sweet petal pound cake so i just wanted to if you were like me, if you wanted pink petal tea cake in body care, I would say this is close, but it's not, it's not the same. It's not exact to the candle. I, I'm kind of upset at myself that I bought two fragrance mist of this, but I'm not really like mad at myself. Am I going to return one set? Let's, I'm, I, I'm going to have to see what they come out with. <laughs> but right now, I'm content. I don't need... Is this three-bottle backup worthy for me? No. It wouldn't have been any... Ugh, it might have been too miss-worthy because I do think it's very pretty. It is very light. Um, You are going to have to spray a lot, but I want to stress this is not gourmand. This is more floral to me rose dominant than anything don't let the name fool you the packaging the notes this to me is what is it's a candied sweet rose with a little raspberry tarts fruity sweetness thrown in there with like a glaze effect on a pound cake but it is not gourmand it is not it's more floral than anything so i want you to keep that in mind very pretty it is pretty but it is not what i think the majority of us 
we're expecting this to be. So I want to stress that because like I said, you can't go in the store and just smell this. You have to take a chance. You have to pay shipping, you know, and let, or you have to pay $50 to get free shipping, usually with Bath & Body Works, whenever they run that. So I want to just, it's not like its predecessor. Strawberry pound cake smells like a doggone strawberry pound cake. This does not smell like a cake at all. <laughs> okay, so on to the one that everyone was just loving. This is iced lemon pound cake. This has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. This is everything it's advertised to be and more. I'm kicking myself that I didn't go ahead and get too missed of this. This smells... Okay, before we go into all of that, let me, let's do some comparisons. Because I said, what do I have in my collection? Let's say vanilla confetti sparkle. This smells to me like a vanilla cake. The cake note is the same. So I'm trying to help you with these comparisons because you can't smell this in store because it's an online exclusive. If you like the cake note in this, if you like vanilla confetti sparkle or confetti cake pop, which they're the same, you like the vanilla cake note, just think of the lemon version of this because th that's what it reminded me of. I was, this cake note is very similar. Just add lemon. Just add lemon cake, lemon icing. This is the lemon version of vanilla confetti sparkle. And then I was like, well, what other lemon fragrance mist do I have? And the only one from Bath and Body Works that I could remember and that I honestly think is the only other lemon uh, fragrance mist I have from Bath and Body Works is Lemon Drop Martini. So I just wanted to compare the lemon in here if you have this one okay okay the lemon is a little similar but no way the same because this is tart and creamy lemon uh this lemon ice lemon pound cake i mean it smells like an iced lemon pound cake I mean, it's kind of taking me back to my, my grandma. You know, you go to her house, she would know you're coming to visit and she would have cakes and stuff in the freezer. And she would be like, let me get here. You want to take this back with you? It'd be a big, you know, ornate pound cake, homemade icing, homemade cake, not the kind of cakes I want to, I make. you know, you open up cake mix nose, homemade, flat, all that. You know, that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's really good. Now, another thing I wanted to compare it to was my Sugar Milk Co. Lemon Cakes Perfume Oil. Now, in my video, I said this reminded me of the Jackson, like, lemon shortbread cookies, but that I also, you know, it smelled like lemon cook cookies, lemon cake. So, let's compare this. Yeah. Match made in heaven. Match made in heaven. So these, if you have lemon cakes from Sugar Milk Co., Ice Lemon Pound Cake is very similar to this perfume oil also. So to go into detail about this, it's really no, it's not, what it is what it says. It's an airy, fluffy lemon pound cake. You have bake that thing in the oven to perfection it's moist you bring it out you've set it on the cooling rack then you in there and you making your uh glaze to go on top of it you got your put some lemon zest a little vanilla mix it all up and spread it all over that pound cake and that's what iced lemon pound cake smells like it smells like an iced lemon pound cake it is delicious. It's light also, but again, I will say, I'm not one, my expectations of a fragrance mist 
are nowhere near, I believe, some people's expectations of one. I don't expect them to perform like a perfume. I don't expect them to be as strong as a perfume. I really, to be perfectly honest, I don't care for the most part how long a fragrance mist lasts. Now, if I put it on and it's gone in a second, that's a problem. If it's gone in a matter of minutes, that's a problem. But if it gives me a couple hours, and usually mine, I can smell the majority of the day, the way I spray, the way I layer. So it is like, if, you, if this is the only thing you're gonna wear, you are gonna have to reapply it. But if you wanted an ice lemon pound cake, if you wanted a, a gourmand lemon cake scent, this is it and they did the doggone thing it is delicious smelling and i do want to get another one now i i want to get another one because i don't know if this will ever come back but i'm also kind of trying to see do you need another one because i don't have a lot of lemon fragrances i don't tend to gravitate towards lemon scented things unless it's summer and it's like fresh citrus so even though this smells wonderful and I want another one, I'm kind of thinking, do I need another one? But if they have a sale and I order online and this is still available, I know I'm going to get another one because it smells that good. So out of the pound cake collection, strawberry pound cake and iced lemon pound cake and sweet petal pound cake, if you want to smell like desserts if you want to smell like cakes strawberry pound cake and iced lemon pound cake are the ones to get now strawberry pound cake in case you didn't know or you just haven't smelled it before that's in store this is the one if you're going between these two to purchase online because like i keep saying you can't smell them in store and you want a true gourmand scent and you don't want to get both of them. You need you go with the ice lemon pound cake. If you want to experience the whole collection and you like the pink petal tea cake and you like rosy scents, I would suggest getting both depending on what you want the most to smell like if you're a gourmand lover or if you're a floral lover and what you have in your collection. I don't think any of us has this in our collection, ice lemon pound cake. So if it's one or the other, I would say go with ice lemon pound cake because we have things similar to this. We have smelled this before. So they're both nice to me. I like them both, but if I'm gonna go in order, this would be number two. Sweet Petal Pound Cake and Ice Lemon Pound Cake is number one all day, every day. Okay, so the next things we're going to talk about are the Gingham Collections, the new Gingham Fragrances. So they had the little uh, pen perfume sprays at my Bath and Body. Well, I saw they were online and then I said, I know they're going to be in store. They're $8.00. And I decided to go ahead and get the perfume sprays to smell them, to review for you, to see if I wanted to get any additional items in this when the collections come out. Because this is their big, you know, I think Mother's Day collection. They're coming out with the full size perfumes in each fragrance, you know, the faceted mist and everything, which are about $20. So I said, let me even see if I want to invest in these new fragrances let me see what i think so the first one we're going to talk about is gingham vibrant and this is pretty packaging but i will say i've sprayed this once maybe twice they didn't fill this up it's filled up all of these new pen sprays to right here when usually they're filled to the brim. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention because they don't fill them all the way up anymore, y'all. Inflation and cutting costs at all costs to us, less product, more 
expensive. That's just our reality right now. And not just the bad and body works, but everywhere. But I just wanted to mention that. I mean, it's not, you know, it's a good little amount if, because it was usually their feel to the brim and then now it's here. So I just wanted to bring that out. <laughs> That's when I saw that. I said, okay, bad and body works. Okay, so the notes in Gingham Vibrant are wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. And I have sprayed these. I put them on tester strip. This is a nice fruity floral fragrance. It's pretty. It reminds me yeah it reminds it puts me in the mind of a Marc Jacobs perfume not a particular one just if you know Marc Jacobs especially like the Daisy line they're just easy breezy usually floral or fruity floral perfumes that are pretty there, there is it's nothing that is unique to your nose but they're pretty and that's what i get from gingham vibrant it's juicy it's it's very heavy um i think the vanilla gives some smoothness to it the violet that's where the floral comes in it's really really pretty very pretty and it's reminding me of something like a perfume I have in my collection. And I think it's the blackberry note. It's that blackberry note that's very heavy and dominant when you smell it from the bottle. But when I sprayed it out, it becomes a very soft, fruity floral. Um, where the the blackberry is not so prominent it softens it out let's spray it one more time yeah it's it's pretty again I wouldn't say it's unique but are you always going to Bath and Body Works to get something unique I know I'm not I'm going to get affordable, usually fragrance mist that I can layer and use and have fun with because, you know, you can go buy a bunch of fragrance mist when there's a good sale. You know, you can get 10 for $50. Where can you go get a perfume where you can get 10 perfumes? You know, 10 perfumes now at designer prices, you look at almost $1,000. So... <laughs> It's just fun to go and, and get different, you know, fragrances at more affordable prices. But if you're going to go and get the perfume in this, which is, I think, full size is about, it's either 50 or 60. I can't say I think it's worth it. Not... It, it, because I'm, I'm. This is the way I think. I can go get a Marc Jacobs perfume for about this price. It wouldn't be the same size. I could go get a 1.7, and I'm paying that price uh, at, for a Marc Jacobs perfume as opposed to a Bath and Body Works perfume. Because I feel like with I with their perfumes, I feel like they don't last as long as I would think. The the few I've tried, I feel like they, I don't know. It's some, I don't, it, to me, I can see the difference in the quality of the perfumes. Now with the perfume, I do expect it to last longer and perform a certain way as opposed to at a mist, I really don't. So their perfumes to me, unless you have a great discount or find them on sale, I personally, I don't find them worth that, the cost of Bath & Body Works perfumes. I don't think the performance is worth the cost. I don't think the, the fragrances are usually worth the cost because you can get the same fragrance in a fragrance mist 
And if they're gonna last similarly, then I'm gonna go for the more affordable mist. So this is pretty. It's a pretty berry floral scent. Now it's been compared when I was watching other people, they said candy violet sorbet, that it was, it smelled like that. So I sprayed this top earlier. To me, to me, no. They do not smell alike because candy violet, sor violet sorbet is more floral. Um, it has notes of sugar, violet petals, vanilla sorbet, and blackberry swirl. The berry, it's this, okay. The easiest way to explain this is gingham vibrant is more berry, fruity, heavy, dominant. And candy violet sorbet is floral dominant with hints of berry. So I just don't think they're dupes. I don't think they're dupes. Now, if you, if you like, Candy Violet Sorbet, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll like Gingham Vibrant to me because if you like fruity florals, I think you can't go wrong with either one of them. But if we want to compare them, because this is what, if you have this, do you need this? I think they're different enough that even if you have Candy Violet Sorbet, you could have Gingham Vibrant in your collection because to me, I mean, let's, let me spray it out on the paper. And, and let's do it side by side there because I just, I don't feel like they smell that similar. But so many people were saying that they did. So hold on. Okay, they're similar, but still. Candy Violet Sorbet is more floral and it has like a tart, somewhat sourness to it. This Gingham Vibrant is what I would call prettier, fruitier than Candy Violet Sorbet. So I still think you could get away if you have this fragrance mist in your collection. You, if, if you even want to just get this to layer with it and not get the full bottle, that's fine. But if you wanted to still get Gingham Vibrant, I think you can have both in your collection and it would be perfectly fine. Okay, the next Gingham we're going to talk about is the one that everyone was loving. This is Gingham Gorgeous and the packaging is gorgeous. This has notes of pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. This smells really good. Let me get my one I sprayed earlier. Again, this is a pretty fruity floral. They all gonna have kind of that same DNA. And I can really pick up the strawberry. This makes me think strawberry floral. And I feel like it's, I can't think of anything that I have in my collection that smells exactly like Gingham Gorgeous. And I wanna spray it again. And while that's airing out, this one was compared to Perfect Peony. Gingham Gorgeous was compared to Perfect Peony. So we're going to compare them I already tried this, but I want to spray it out with you and see what I think. They do smell similar, but Gingham Gorgeous has that strawberry and that peach nectar. And it makes it like a fruity kind of smoothness within this floral fragrance. Whereas Perfect Peony is powdery, fresh floral. So they do smell similar, but just like with Gingham Vibrant, 
Gingham Gorgeous is fruitier than Perfect Peony. Now, when I was smelling this, I was like, this is what, Gingham Gorgeous, I was like, this is reminding me of something. So I said, it's reminding me of Gingham Love. So let's, let's, let's compare them, y'all. Similar, not a do. Because this is very heavy, so it's fruity. So I think the Gingham Gorgeous was reminding me of Gingham Love because of the fruitiness. But I will say, I can't think of anything in my collection that smells exactly like Gingham Gorgeous. It's pretty. It's, this, is a, this collection is great for spray. I, you know, we'll talk about that at the end. But this is, again, a very pretty, very pink, strawberry, fruity floral. Because it's, I really pick up that strawberry. So it's unique in that aspect because even though it reminded me of other things, it doesn't smell exactly like anything in my collection. And again, that is Gingham Gorgeous. So the last fragrance in the new Gingham line is Gingham fresh and this has notes of juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies this is very fresh green pear it's a fresh pear fruity floral again now, I'm, I compared, this reminded me of something almost immediately. It reminded me of Mixed Bar's Pear Blossom. And I sprayed and compared the two, and they are similar, but I think, at least at this time, that Mixed Bar's Pear Blossom smells a little bit better than Gingham Fresh. But if you wanted a pear a fresh pear floral scent because you know pear has that freshness but it also can have that juicy fruitness so if you want a fresh fruity floral scent green not too not, not too girly girly but more on the clean side the fresher side this is a nice one so what are my thoughts on the new gingham collection <sighs> my thoughts i wasn't blown away by not one of them not one of them now did i think any of them were bad no did i think any of them just didn't smell good no i think they all smell good they all smell pretty they're easy breezy wear for the spring fragrances but nothing blew me away i mean for me personally and for the the size of my collection i feel like at this time i don't want anything else from any of the lines i don't I, even though they smell good do i want to pay about twenty dollars for each mist because it's in the facet collection no i didn't like any of them enough at this time i keep saying at this time because you know things can change but at this time i feel like i'm good i don't i don't want the mist and usually that's the main thing for me you know if i because i'm not trying to get any lotions and body creams and none of that uh, unless you just blows my mind. So I just was trying to see, do I want the mist in anything in any of these fragrances by, you know, getting these little pen sprays? And I feel like I'm good. Now, let me rank these. Coming in at number three is going to be Gingham Fresh because I just purchased another perfume that was similar to me to this, and I preferred that one. So... It's going to be number three. Coming in at number two, I'm going to say is, is Gingham Vibrant because I feel like I have... I feel like I have a perfume that smells like this. I can't think... I, it won't come to me, 
or it's just this DNA I'm so used to. It's pretty, but it didn't wow me. And coming in at number one is gonna be Gingham Gorgeous, like everyone. I think this is, the people I've watched, this is the one everybody's been loving the most. And I will say that Strawberry Note, to me, makes this one stand out enough that I would say out of the three of these, the one that has the best chance of changing my mind and making me get more things from the line would be Gingham Gorgeous. This is the one that when I smell it, I can see myself going, ooh, oh, maybe, I, maybe I'll need a few more things. But it still didn't wow me. It smells really good. I want to keep saying that. All three of these smell good. And all three of these are good for spring. All three of these perfumes will have beautiful packaging. And like I said, will be beautiful for spring. But for me, and I don't even know if I said this, this is going to be number one. King Gorgeous. I just feel like I can wait. I don't feel the urge, you know, the rush to when, when this is released, I want to get it. I don't feel that with, with this collection. I feel like it's pretty. I feel like they, they smell nice for spring. I feel like this is a perfect spring collection. Perfect. If you, especially if you don't have a large collection, you have your fresh in the gingham, fresh. You have your berry, fruity, dominant, floral, and vibrant. And then you have your pretty pink, strawberry, floral, girly, and gingham gorgeous. So it's, per they're, it's a perfect collection for spring. And if I didn't have a larger collection, and if I didn't review perfumes and smell so much all the time, maybe they would blow my mind more. But it takes a lot now, which is good. Because that means I'm not up here all the time going, oh, it's so good, it's so good. So <laughs> they're good. But again, my, my mind wasn't blown. My mind wasn't blown. But this is the one, Gingham Gorgeous, I'm going to say again, has the best shot at getting me to get more from the line than the other two. This one has the best shot. So, y'all... Oh, and another thing, these collections are going to be expensive for this gingham collection because it's the faceted collection and then the, the perfumes. So I would suggest if you, I would suggest while these are $8 to try to get them and try them out because that's the best deal you are gonna get to try them and see if you like them because the mini spray it's $9.95. You, you can't get it for free with a coupon. And unless they have a mini sale, that would be a better deal. The This would be, you know, $14.95 once, once the $8 is gone. And then the mist, full-size mist, is going to be probably $18.95 or $19.95. I can't remember exactly what the faceted is now since, you know, the price increased. So I would suggest trying these while they're eight dollars um because you know like i said this collection is going to look beautiful it's beautiful for spring it's going to be eye-catching from other uh from images i've seen of bath and body works who actually have it out now it's gonna it's gonna i think sell well because it's gonna be so pretty and so spring and so feminine but i want to stress while they're pretty, I just don't feel like it's, I don't feel like they're fragrances that we haven't smelled before to some extent. I mean, even all of them. I'm looking at Simply Gorgeous. Even, I mean, Gingham Gorgeous. They all, that's one I would think is more unique but it still reminded me of something else, even though not exact. So I think the collection was good and um, I think it'll do well, but I just want to stress, you just don't have to have everything. <laughs> so, 
I'm trying to be smarter in what I decide to spend my money on. That's why I took so much back from Victoria's Secret, like I told y'all in my previous video. I don't want to just keep things just to have them to even to do videos because there's always something coming out to review and I want to be smarter about what I bring in to keep and I want to make sure I'm reviewing in a way that you don't, you just, you, you can make a your decision without someone being just so hyped about every little thing and i don't want to be to where i'm very critical that's why i keep stressing that these are pretty but i want to be sure it's known it's not like it's it's something we haven't smelled before especially if you're a fragrance lover so I don't know, I just want to make sure I'm being very balanced in my reviews because, you know, it's, it's, it's real out here with inflation and jobs and everything that I want to be smart in the way I review things so you'll know, wow, if she really loves this, then maybe I will that'll be what i decide to treat myself with instead of being this is good this is good this this that to that you know everything is not just you just have to have it in your collection i be, i'm trying to get over this a fear of missing out because i'm i'm just gonna have to miss out on some stuff you know because because prices are going like this and the check is staying right here <laughs> Oh, you know, it is what it is. So if y'all <laughs> so if y'all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the pound cake collection. Tell me what you think of the new gingham collection if you were able to smell it just tell me your thoughts i would love to know please share this video with everybody y'all especially you know what just share it with everybody everybody because y'all know what we're trying to do over here and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye